ready for the dance party. This is favorite, dance. favorite time. We love the dance. We love the dance. <laughs> it's not even 8 a.m. yet, which is early for me, okay? Especially in quarantine. It's gonna be a long day, but I have to get up, so I'm taking you with me. Mommy, I need coffee. Coffee it is. Okay, so I had to get up because I have a Skype call at 9. My mama B so kindly made me... Where's the handle? Oh, there it is. I got the coffee. See the little winky eye? Molly, <laughs> it's not on that side. It's on the other side. See the little winky eyes? <laughs> Shush! Oh, blind girl moment live on camera. Okay, moving forward. So I picked this outfit because I'm going to be like on a Skype video. People will see me, but I look presentable at the top half. So I have like, it's all airy. I have this airy scrunchie, big chunky airy sweater, cute cropped airy tank, and these super comfy airy leggings. And I feel like cute. I've been trying to dress cute every day where I'm like cute and stylish, but comfy. You'll notice my bed is completely unmade. The sheets and all that is in the wash because I'm trying to stay clean up in here so I'm gonna be making that later today you'll come with me on that adventure and uh, now I'm gonna do my makeup drink my coffee and listen to a podcast so I will see you guys when my face is fully done makeup is complete I've been trying to do my makeup every day and I've been good most days I've done my makeup most days I've done it on a live stream but uh, now that it's done I'm gonna have to do something else on live stream today we'll see but I've been trying to like get up at the same time every day do my makeup get dressed make my bed I've been trying my best to keep some kind of routine and sense of normalcy so yeah that's kind of something that I've been doing that's been feeling helpful for me my calves hurt I had a dance party the last two days in a row and now my calves are dancing it's a good workout all right i have my call in like five minutes so i gotta go all right so it is 9 45 i had about 45 minute skype chat it was for a podcast if the podcast is out when this goes out i'll link it below i was talking about people with disabilities in this pandemic that we're facing i'm usually just waking up at this time so i've been sh chasing every yawn with a, with a shot of coffee i haven't eaten yet most days i haven't been eating breakfast i've just been doing lunch and dinner because i've been waking up at 8, 9 30 and then just like being lazy till noon or just like working so most days I haven't had breakfast but because I woke up at 7 30 today I'm gonna have breakfast now I don't like breakfast foods I know I know controversial to say but I've never been a breakfast food fan because I don't like eggs and I don't eat gluten. So that's like pancakes and waffles and all these things. So I'm gonna have a little bit of gluten-free pasta with pesto and olives, just a very small bowl. I don't need much. So yeah, it's my next step in my day in the life of self-quarantine. This is my little breakfast, my little bowl of my gluten-free pasta with olives and what's it called again? Pesto. pesto. Look, But look at my bowl. It's like a honeycomb beehive thing on the outside and the inside's yellow and you can't see them but there's a bee at the bottom and it looks just like my tattoo and my friend Bee gave it to me for my birthday. It is now about 1, 1 in the afternoon. I'm drinking some David's tea and I've just been working away on a secret project that I can't tell you about. I'm sorry. And then I got my video up which was my reformation haul. I'll link it below in case you haven't seen it. Check it out. So I just got that up, responded to comments. If you're early on my YouTube videos, I do spend the first like half an hour or so harding and responding to comments. So turn the notifications on for all my videos so that you can maybe chat in the comments with me. Anyways, we're taking off. I have the purple mattress and the purple pillows. So we're taking off the zip covers around them to clean them. We had a nightmare of a situation with the movers and they never wrapped anything with saran wrap to keep them clean story. I don't know if it's out already, link below. If not, it's the next video coming out. Again, put those notifications on. And they got them all stained with their like hands and stuff, which is disgusting. So we're trying to do a full spring clean, take this off. We took the pillow ones off already, wash them. Every Tuesday, our building sends a cleaning lady in to like make your bed and everything. But obviously with the pandemic, that is not happening. But we're trying to keep up that every Tuesday cleaning day schedule. So we did all the laundry, all the bedding and whatnot. And I'm going to change that in the afternoon and then we're like just going around like I cleaned my sinks and countertops and whatnot and vanity and all that so we're trying to keep the cleaning schedule up and then I'm gonna take Gallup for a walk on my own and my mom is gonna do some work here so that's my next step it is 3 57 p.m. and I had some soup for lunch now I'm chewing some juicy fruit and the one thing that keeps me going outside of course is this pooper whooper my building has a dog park which is where I am now but that's not enough for him I need to keep him guiding to keep his guiding skills up and he gets so excited when he sees his harness. So I'm gonna go take him on a little wander around the block in the 
fresh air and I'll see you in a bit. I just finished a project that I was working on all day. A bunch of stuff is in the laundry still. My mom and I managed to move the entire massively heavy purple mattress. If you have a queen sized purple mattress, and I don't mean the color, it is the color, but also the brand, you know how freaking heavy those things are. They're like 500 pounds, I swear. So we moved it, a strong women by ourselves, and we like zipped the cover off, so we're washing that. And Mama B is gonna go get some ingredients because we are going to bake with you guys. I'm so excited. We're baking healthy cookies, as healthy as cookies get. And now that I'm done my work, I'm gonna go shower. I'm like in desperate need of a shower. You know, when you just like feel like you really need it. I'm in that place right now. I know. It's so rude. I'm joking. So it's the one no, who doesn't even wear- like a newborn baby to so it's the one who doesn't even wear deodorant. No. I'm outing not, you. Mm, it's not good for my I body. use natural deodorant. Okay, Neve, it's better I than use, nothing. I use essential oils and they're beautiful. And then I smell like an essential oil. She thinks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna hop in the shower while she gets those ingredients. Yeah, and I'll see you guys soon. What a fun quarantine day. Hair faced, I have clean hair, I've showered, and we even got this wash cover back miraculously onto the mattress, and now we have to get it back onto the box frame. This is me and my six-year-old mother who are both under five feet tall, just so we all are clear. Yes. And this mattress weighs so much. Mommy. Call me into the room, Molly, and this is what I found. <laughs> what are you doing? This is real life, you guys. This is me. I'm trying to make my bed. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get the comforter the right way way around. Now I'm stuck. Well, you are a good bed maker, so I'm going to trust that you can figure this out, and I, I'm going to go clean the floors. You can do this. Yay! Here is my dinner. So I actually, for a few months now, have been using a meal delivery service, and thank goodness, so far with the quarantine, they haven't stopped delivering, but we have kind of stocked up on what we would need in case and so I have turkey and mashed potatoes and green beans and it smells delicious. So they deliver the meals every single night for the next day and they're all freshly made that day. So it literally comes just like this, all made up, stick it in the fridge, the next day I pull it out, heat it up, boom, done. Pretty great, can't complain, I feel very lucky. It's definitely been really worth it for me, especially in this time, so yeah. All right, so it is actually the next day because yesterday we just spent most of the day cleaning and then I was working on that project and I got it finished. Thank goodness. Gal was in a mood last night, wasn't he, Mom? Oh. I think the quarantine's getting to him. It's interesting because a lot of people have been saying their dogs are really loving this quarantine, which makes sense because their owners are home with them, spending more time with them. They're not alone as much. But for Gallup, he's always with me, so that's not exciting. He's used to moving around and being active and seeing new things and going new places and being entertained all the time. But then now he's like, this is boring. So he's really struggling a little bit. We are day 10 in quarantine here in Los Angeles. And I went to bed last night around 11. That's so cute. It sounded like you were like reporting in from Los Angeles. <laughs> Molly Burke here with CKL Day. Wait, take two. Molly Burke reporting in with LA News. We are day 10 here in quarantine. Lockdown on all unnecessary. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> One day, Molly. One day, that my news you. anchor dreams will be a reality. At one point in my childhood, I did want to be a news anchor. Do you remember that? But weren't you a news anchor kind of thing? You, no, no I was you, a TV you were a TV host, host yeah. yeah. You, you got close. Anyways, so I went to bed around 11 and I told my mom, wake me up at like 9 30 or 10. And then I wake up today at 11 and she's not here. And I was like, well. But someone. you woke up at the right time. No, I wanted to be woken at 9 30 or 10 i woke Ooh. up at 11. oh i see that's what I'm my saying. memory is that you said you were sleeping in so i was, I was like, sleeping okay. in till 9 30 or 10. and did you wake up at 11 and you were like and abandoned like, so i called her she was out walking which is still allowed so every country and every city is like experiencing something different so in la like all restaurants bars that kind of thing is shut down except for delivery and pickup and all large gatherings are shut down and all unnecessary businesses are shut down and you're encouraged to stay home and social distance, but grocery stores and whatnot are still open. So like I said yesterday, my mom went to go get some of the supplies for cookies, but also just more hand soap and stuff like that, like um, disinfectant and stuff that we had run out of. So she needed to go get that stuff. So we thought we might as well pick up cookie supplies while we're at it. Well, and, and be a given us some, our friend had given us 
Like yeah, our friend B yeah. giving us cookie mix. Thanks, B. And so we're still able to like go on walks with Gallup and whatnot, which is great, especially for him. And it makes me get fresh air, which is nice. And then this morning I did an Instagram live, which I've been doing most days. I've been going live on Instagram. So hit up my Instagram at Molly Burke Official to hang out on live with me. I'm pretty much always doing my makeup. That's what I do when I'm live. Just have fun with you guys. And then I just had a tuna and white bean salad. And I think now, we might bake cookies? Yeah, let's bake cookies. Hello! Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Molly Burke's Kitchen, a cooking show where I, somebody who sucks at cooking, attempts to cook with you, the viewer. Let's go! So, these are gluten-free, dairy-free, and sweetened with coconut. They're as healthy as a cookie can get. I'm really excited because I've tried them and they're delicious. I've got my oh-so-styling flamingo, what is it called? Apron. apron. That's how much I don't cook. <laughs> Like, what is this thing I got? By the way, I'm gonna link below the one video I ever did where I tried to bake from scratch for the oh, first time. the best foam we've ever had. So funny. And look, these are so cute. They're pink, never been used. I've had them for two years. <laughs> they're from Anthropology, and they're pretty. So I have super washed my hands. I even took my rings off. I've tied my hair back. I am prepared. By the way, you guys, I've been back to online dating because I have nothing else to fill my time with. So I've been hitting up the Facebook dating, the Tinder, my two accessible dating apps that I've got. And um, yeah, it's been fun. You're having a great time. I am. And you know what? Even if we don't aren't compatible in real life when we can finally see each other, they're like helping fill my boredom during quarantine. So that's something. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the whole package in right now. That makes it easy, yeah. The whole package makes 12 cookies. Only we're gonna get six cookies each. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Unless we share with Gallup. No, Gallup doesn't get any cookies. Oh my god, it smells so good. I would eat this. Okay, what do I have to do now, mommy? Okay, whisk milk and vanilla together in a large bowl. Okay, so I'll get the other bowl. No, first of all, you have to mix your... And then you dump it in there. Yeah, yeah, dump it in there. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> this is how you... I thought I had this so organized. This is how you truly know I don't bake. I'm like, what do I do? I'm so, yeah, not good at this stuff. Look how pink it is. Okay, so I take milk. This is sesame milk. It's only two, three tablespoons of milk. So you have a little measuring thing. If you keep putting your hand out. Yep, so three of those. We already shook the milk up. Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Mommy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, with a little bit that spills, you're okay. okay. I'm only washing hands like twice. I really did. And I even took my And because off. we're constantly washing our hands, we're good. Because Molly does so much, right, with your hands. I have to. Well. Okay. So you do milk and I then can you get your two teaspoons of vanilla. So there's another little measuring spoon. Is this a teaspoon spoon. still? The same uh, size? Uh, or is it something smaller? Oh, the milk was three tablespoons. Sorry, yeah. And this is two teaspoons. So okay. the teaspoon is in front of the vanilla there. Yeah. And there's your teaspoon. It's definitely... Oh, this is organic vanilla. Is anything coming out? Maybe not. It's coming, it's about to arrive. Well, there you go, it's happening. Go on there, it doesn't matter if you go over a little. Yeah, you got it. You, They'll you, just be very vanilla. You nailed it, you nailed it. I took uh, cooking classes in high school at the School for the Blind, and they were all about, they were very pro using your hands, so I don't feel guilty. There's nothing wrong with it, as long as they're clean. Yeah, I'm super clean. Okay, so now you whisk those two together. It's such a little tiny bit to whisk. Once it's mixed, now you can add to the baking mix and stir until small balls form. Wait, so what, what am I doing? You're adding that to your baking mix. Okay. Okay, so now you mix those together. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell this. Okay, I think it should be good there. Now add in your coconut oil. Which mama helped pre-melt in this fantastic mug that we have. And where did we get this mug, Neve? I believe it's a Molly Burke. It's Which a Molly does. Burke original at fanjoy.co slash Molly Burke. I don't spill tea, I drink it. Anyways, moving on. Do I pour it all in at once? Yes. Boom, coconut oil in. And now you mix again. Yeah, I hope you've loved my tutorial. Oh, these cookies are so good. They're I so am. good. I'm like so <laughs> excited. <laughs> It smells so good. Yummy. Wait, I want to try a little bit. You always have to try the cookie dough, right? Yes, and then you don't put your hands, then you can wash your hands. Hope to smell. It's um, almond flour, by the way, you guys. Let's see, it's coconutty. We have to do our hand wash. I'm gonna put the water off while I'm lathering. <laughs> And cut back to Molly cooking. I just got 
back from washing my hands again. If you're wondering what I was singing while I was putting these on the sheets and dancing to, it was Demi Lovato, Miss Queen Demi. So we got the 12 here, did it all by myself. So independent. The stove molly is over to the left. <laughs> did you not know that? No. What? Oh, when are I ever in the kitchen? Oh, I feel bad. What a bad mother I am. Look, I've only lived here for a few months. <laughs> that is so funny. That's really funny. I swear that, to God. That I really was, is funny. I thought it was here. <clears throat> There, there, there you are with your sweatshirt. Can't stop me. I need some positivity vibes right now. Okay, so. So your oven. Love here. Yes. It got a little blackened in a previous video we did. Actually, but. the ones that we did all the taste testing on the different foods. Yeah, linked below to see my taste test videos where I tried weird celebrity foods and your weird food favorites. Okay, wait. So I hold it with this hand, right? Yep. And then. Oh god, okay, this is the part that always scares me. I open like this. Yeah, and just feel around. The first shelf should be fine, because like it's here? very low down, yeah. Oh, it's a bit, now you'll have to go the other way. Oh god, oh god. No, no, going? you're fine. Actually, it won't be hot anyway, so you can put your hand on it if you need to balance it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Okay. There, oh, that looks so nice. And then we have to time these for 10 minutes. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. It's great. Bye, cookies. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 10 minutes. Okay. I'm setting alarm for 2.49 p.m. Dance party while we bake? Yeah, let's do a dance party. Yeah. Well, those cookies. I was gonna say marinate, but they don't make, whatever. Well, they're in the bake. oven. Bake. Baking. Thank you, mom. I'm so knowledgeable about chefery. So every day we've been having dance parties to keep fit, keep heart rate up, keep it going, keep it going. And my calves, I swear to God, I need to dance with my calves. Gala, how rude. <laughs> Gallop his gets, tail is wagging. Gallop gets he hyped loves for this. the dance party. Hyped for the dance party. Hyped this is his favorite, dance. favorite time. We love the dance. We love the dance. Oh, this is his dancing. Okay. Oh, yep. Neighbors aren't always happy at this point. Yeah, they don't love our dance parties, but, but we do. We're, we're respectful. We keep the music. <laughs> I don't dance in public. I yes, know. you do. You recently did. I dance recently in danced public. in public for the first time. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Trust me, I didn't dance like that. I promise you. <laughs> now my heart rate's up. I'm sweating. I'm needing Lacroix. So this is my one of my treats of the day. I have a Lacroix every day. Not sponsored. Mm. I wish. I must say, I'm a little addicted. Whew. Girl, do a dance. If you can't go to the gym right now, like most of us, because my building's gym is closed, just dance around your apartment. It's fun to get your spirits up, get your heart rate going, get some cardio in. You can do like the squat move like me. Arms, arms, squat, squat. It's one of my, one of my go-tos. And then the other, as you probably saw, the high knee run. <laughs> that does take a lot of work. Yes, it really does. So Molly really... gets me doing it too. It's a good workout. <sighs> Now I'm just gonna wait for my cookies. Hi, Nana. How are you? Hi, Molly. How are you? Good. We, uh, we baked, yeah. we just finished baking cookies and having a dance party. So we're making the most of it over here. Great. What about my you? Just sat, I, I just sat here laughing. I have been watching a film called The Leisure Seekers and the tears ran down my face laughing. And boy, do I need a laugh. 
I know, that's what I've been doing right now is watching a lot of things that make me laugh. My mom took the cookies out of the oven because I was too scared. And then I had a quick call with my Nana in Ireland, as you just saw. We've been doing a lot of like staying in touch with family and friends, a lot of whom live, you know, mainly in England and Ireland, and then my dad in Canada and my aunt in Canada. So we've been staying in touch with them like every single day, texting my friends all day, texting Tinder boys and Facebook. Tinder boys <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. when you really smile. <laughs> Gotta keep busy. And so these were cooling off. My mom already had one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So you get your six, take your pick, and I'll get my six. Sorry, I'm eating my one here right now. Mm, okay. Should I have one? Mm-hmm. Have one. Oh, it's warm. Oh my god. Mm. Is this AMSR? What, what's it called again? <laughs> oh! Oh no! These ones are so, mm. so delicate. So good. Like, you would not know that these are gluten-free, dairy-free, and sweetened with coconut. Oh, look who's here. They're so- Is there any crumbs, guys? Any crumbs? Mm. They're, because of the coconut oil, they're so oily, but in like the best way possible. They're so moist. Time for Gallup to have some quarantine cookies. Yum, 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 yum. Then we want to take you on a walk, huh? Yes. We need fresh air as much as we can get. There you go. All gone. All gone. He's like, you guys get six each. I only got four. Look, he's going to see where they're kept to be like... Actually, I think he wants to go for a walk. Oh, I did promise. Yeah. We're going to go for a walk, my guy. Alright, so I'm back from a big walk with Gallup, which he oh so much appreciated. And I have to say, this pillow, staying home is the new going out, has never been more relevant than it is right now. So I think we just need to throw this back here to keep a little reminder. I just need it to be like that subtle reminder in the background. Remember, staying home is the new going out. It's cool to stay in. Alright, so to wrap this video up of kind of my two days in quarantine, day in the life kind of video. God, the days just blend together, don't they? I want to just have a little chit chat. <sighs> So I'm following kind of like the rules that are set here in LA where I live. And I have to say, number one, I recognize the privilege I have. I live in a city that's currently sunny and the weather's nice and I have a balcony that I can sit on. I have a job that, you know, although some of my work has been affected, a lot of it is able to continue to happen. I'm still able to go live and I'm still able to post and make videos. And I recognize that's a privilege and that there's a lot of people in the world who are losing their jobs, who live paycheck to paycheck and who are living in cold, pressing, dark climates. And um, I have a lot of prayers for everybody because it's a very stressful time. It's a very scary time and even myself, despite being in a more privileged position than many, I go through periods of ups and downs and I just wanna say that I think it's really important to let yourself feel scared and anxious and unsure and angry, but you, you just can't live like that forever. You know, it's okay to express those feelings and let them out and cry or punch your pillow or whatever it is that you need to do to get those emotions out, but it's also important to keep spirits up. And I think, you know, there's a lot of talk of social distancing and I, I think the better phrase is physical distancing because we need socialization more than ever right now, even if it's not being in people's presence physically. And I really encourage you guys to stay connected, you know, stay connected with people you follow online, stay connected with your friends, with your family members, with society. We need to support each other. And I think there's two types of people in situations like this. There's like the every man for themselves and then there's the community. And I really encourage you to yes, protect yourself and love yourself and fight for yourself and put yourself first, but also remember like we're all in this together. And I think that's something that's really helpful to keep in mind when you feel so physically alone and so scared, the whole world is dealing with this together. We just need to smile and bring joy to each other and, and reach out to those in your life, even if you haven't spoken to them in years, especially if you recognize they're in a more vulnerable position. I think there's been a lot of talk of like the elderly and others more vulnerable with like underlying health conditions. But in my situation, even myself would be considered more vulnerable being disabled. You know, my hands are my eyes. I touch everything constantly. And on top of that, I need assistance. So if my mom, who's also considered being in an elderly category gets sick, you know, what do we do? And these are things my family is, is really having to consider and talk about and prepare for because you just never know. You know, I, I don't have all the answers. I'm trying my best to be informed and do what my city and my country is saying is, is the best practices. And I'd say we're even going beyond that. Sadly, I, I still see some people in LA like really living life like it's normal and like having parties and even some guys on Tinder and stuff have been like, hey, come over and hang out. I'm like, no, do you not take this seriously? Like this 
this is the world we need to band together you need to take this seriously because it's scary and we're only gonna heal when we all take it seriously so some things I think that have been helping me keep my spirits up are trying to keep somewhat of a routine so trying to go to bed at a similar time that I usually would and trying to wake up at a similar time as I usually would having my dance parties or doing at-home workouts below I'm gonna link a free seven-minute workout that I found on YouTube that I really like that's totally an at-home workout using like what you have in your house so that'll be linked below for you guys I've been trying to like do things that I wouldn't normally do like baking that's something I never do but it was fun to just do it I'm trying to consistently like continue to eat as healthy as I can and not overeat because I think when you get bored there's nothing to do it's easy to overeat but that for me personally just makes me feel sluggish and not good I'm trying to stay connected with you guys through live streams with my friends and family through FaceTime and Skype and texting I'm trying to connect with new people through like joining dating apps because there's so many people that are just bored at home doing the same thing and it just gives you somebody new to talk to I've been trying to do my makeup still every day put an outfit on like even if it's just leggings and a hoodie or like comfy pants and an oversized tee like this one says cool to be kind and the sweater I was wearing earlier says can't stop me like just things in my closet that make me feel positive and happy and comfy but still like put together like I put some effort in taking bubble baths like treating myself bubble baths making nice tea like doing things that make me feel good meditating I've been using the headspace app it's not fully voice or over accessible but it is enough that I can still use it so check out the headspace app for guided meditation I have been you know my mom and I have been really trying to continue to talk about things that we're grateful for and things that we feel blessed for I've been trying to stay educated on not just my own country but what other countries around the world are doing and what the progress is because I think as scary as it can be when you actually know the facts it's also important Slowing I spent the last down. eight years of my career traveling and <sighs> traveling from 18 to 26 it takes a lot out of you and there was many times where I was like god I just want to not have to travel but at the same time when opportunities come up I can't say no because I work in an industry that you never know what's gonna happen you know so you kind of have to take every opportunity that comes your way and this has kind of been like I've been forced to take a step back and be at home oh cleaning and organizing that's another thing like decluttering your closet cleaning your makeup brushes organizing your bathroom that's all been stuff like yesterday you saw us take the mattress cover off and wash it we haven't done that and I've had this mattress for a long time we've washed the sheets but never the cover oh the mattress cover so you know doing stuff like that that you never really have time for fixing things around your house like doing stuff that you never made time for is another one catching up on like a Netflix series love is blind oh my god sound off in the comments your opinion on love is blind and the podcast Yes, I've been listening to a ton of podcasts. I'll list a bunch down below to check out that I've been enjoying. Watching Molly Burke videos is a really good thing to do. Hit the notification bell, subscribe. Yeah, so those are things that I've been doing. I'll link below and list below anything else I can think of that's been helping me during this time. This it time is gonna pass. pass. This too shall pass. And it's important to remember that it feels like because we don't have an end date in sight, it feels like it's never gonna end, but it will. And um, take up don't. an online course, you know? Like, Learn a new skill. There's lots of things. So I'll have all that stuff listed and linked below. I did this post on Instagram where I talked about 10 different things. You can read that in the caption here up on the screen, some of which I've already mentioned here. Also, I tweeted out for people to submit their, like things that have been helping them. So that tweet's here and kind of will show some scrolling through and you can pause if you want to read any of those responses. We got some interesting feedback there. So yeah, that's all I have to say. This has been two days in the life of myself quarantine, following the rules that we have set here in LA. Hope you guys enjoyed this and had fun with me and I will see you in the next video which who knows the next videos for the next few months will probably all be in my apartment. Such is life. We're gonna try to keep it interesting and creative and fun no matter what. So I'll see you next time. Sending you all love, prayers, healthy, healing vibes, and please stay safe.